Organizing and executing 48 hours of continuous prayer can be difficult. See, for some of us, praying for one solid hour without stopping is really hard. For others, five minutes might seem like an eternity. The disciples of Jesus had similar issues with prayer. They might have been confused on how to pray or what to pray about, but they began to notice a difference between the prayers of the king and theirs. See, when the king prayed, things began to happen. To never wait on the government's to move. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. In this prayer, Jesus gives us a glimpse into the heart of the King. See, the heart of the King beats in unison with the heart of the Father. And that's the point of prayer. Prayer is how we maintain our connection with God and how we align our heart with His. Jesus wasn't giving us a rigid formula that we had to duplicate every time to communicate with God. Instead, He was giving us an outline where certain ideas need to be present in all of our prayers. Every one of our prayers needs to have is it needs to be focused on glorifying God. Hallowed be your name, lifting up the name of God. The second aspect of our prayers is to petition our needs before God. Uh, and that's where he's talking about, give us today our daily bread. They're, they're asking for what they need to survive. The third part is, is asking for forgiveness of sins committed and to also forgive other people so that we can display the love of God and the forgiveness that we've seen in our lives and show that to other people. The last part is to ask for deliverance from temptation and from things that we're struggling with. In a moment, we're going to invite you to get up and write your prayers on the wall. Prayers that reflect your heart and prayers that reflect the heart of the King. The King